nothing major. Oh, some major frame rate lag, but we we're able to come out of that with. Everybody and welcome back here to Torque Drift on the mobile platform. We are here today to just basically get some tandems and talk about Torque Drift. I know it's been off the channel for a little bit of time and that is because I've been setting my focus on a lot of other things but Torque Drift is coming back. So what's next for Torque Drift? New car builds, new cars, maybe some new tracks, stuff, whatever the devs are going to throw at us. Torque Drift will be coming back to the channel regularly for you guys as well as some other mobile drift games and stuff, stuff like that. You know, I did do some Harashia Drift, and uh, maybe some uh, Car X Drift Racer 2 will be coming to the channel as well. But before we do that, we got a couple crates to open. I think we just got two. The two crates to open. We are still rocking the S13 with the underpowered V8. It is handling very well and enjoying it a lot. Unfortunately, I'm out of my tires that I like, so we need to get some more tires. And I, hopefully they are available to be bought. I hope. They are not. No Falcon tires are here for me today. So we're just going to be running what we have on the car. So we're going to just do some tandems. So like I said, some new car builds are coming. Some uh, more tracks and stuff like that probably as well. So Torque Drift is coming back. But today we're just going to get back into the swing of things. Because I have not been on Torque Drift in a little bit of time. Like I said, been focusing on a lot of other things. So we're here at Cali Banks. We're rocking our S15 867 horsepower with some custom tires in the front and some import tires in the rear. Looks like we're going against Kogan, Kogan, however it's pronounced. So let's see what we can do on our first run here on Torque Drift in a good week or two time since the last video. So I'm gonna throw it in, kick it up there, get that supercharger spinning up on the wall. Nice and close, a little handbrake there off the gas, transition smoothly. It was a little bit of a wonky transition, but we are still up on the wall there. Would have liked to have been closer. We're gonna try to run the outer outer wall. Better throttle. Oh, I'm gonna bail on that a little bit so we don't smack the wall too hard. Unfortunately, not the greatest run. We didn't get a clean lead that well, so we only got 100,000. So I bailed out so I didn't smash the wall. So we do have a little bit of a deficit to take off here in our chase, but I feel we can probably come up with a better chase if we were actually to gain some acceleration speed. So we're gonna kick this in, cut the angle, and work our way back up to the top. It's definitely been a minute since I've been here on Torque Drift. Gonna bring the old, uh, old cars back and apparently, wow. So if you don't play for a while, that's what happens. So this run is null and done. So we are gonna have to, hopefully we can get a rerun and uh, redeem ourselves with our S15. Because unfortunately that was not how I wanted to start off. But just goes to show you all those people that are extremely good are playing a lot and continuously playing. So we're gonna try this again. Hopefully he'll let us get a rerun. Probably, there we go, a rerun. So now we can get a better lead. Hopefully get a better start on our chase in our S15. All right, here we go. We're gonna kick it in. Really high angle. Would have liked to be closer to the wall. Good thing we didn't lose it. Just a tap on the wall, nothing major. Oh, some major frame rate lag, but we were able to come out of that without totally biffing the car into that wall, actually. Now we're gonna run this outer bank. Much better run than our first run. So, a almost sketchy run somehow turned into a very solid lead, 164 to 140. So now we have a very solid lead that we're gonna be able to capitalize on as long as we can have a solid chase. There we go, we are on acceleration now, so we are not as far back. Car's a little bit squirrely. Once again, we're gonna cut the angle a little bit. Try and run the wall a little bit as possible. A little far behind, so we're gonna try and cut this angle like that. Kind of over rotate a little bit, but we are 
Still there, that red and blue E46 has got some power on us. Apparently he can uh, definitely pull on us. So we're trying to stay as close as we can. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to take that win with that because, well, we didn't have a very good chase. We were still able to take the win and he doesn't wanna go again. So we did take the win there. I don't know how we managed to save that run before smacking into the wall. So let's bring out Old Faithful E46. And we need to get some, uh, some grippier tires on this thing. And we're gonna send this thing here at Cali Banks and we're gonna check the other tracks. E46, one of my solid cars. Looks like we're going against SD. So this should be a very interesting battle. We're going to uh, see if we can't manage a very solid lead. Transition in, right on the wall. I forgot how well this E46 handles. Just a little scrape on the wall. Quick transition. Oh, all the wall taps, but that is not gonna help. Unfortunately, we got too greedy in that lead on that inner bank. Oh, a little bit too much sauce. Got too greedy and unfortunately smacked the wall hard. We were on a very good run. But we're gonna give this another shot. And hopefully we can not destroy ourselves in the car. Cause unfortunately, man, we didn't do too good on the runs. So we're gonna initiate it a little bit sooner. Kinda throw some more angle at it. And we already are smacking the wall. Losing our points here. Apparently this U46 is not handling as good as I remember it handling. I know I said it handles super good because it does, but apparently I've just lost how to drive. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now we're running the bank. Now we got a little bit better of a run. Not the best run, but we did smack the ball on the entry. So only 88, and I bet you he's gonna have a way better lead. 129, we're still gonna chase it. And then maybe try one more time. Then we're gonna probably switch up tracks. So, Torch Drift. More content coming. Promise that it will be bringing Torch Drift back regularly on the channel, as well as some new content coming probably from the game devs. Hopefully very soon, maybe some new tracks, some new cars, and stuff on those lines. Kinda getting the, getting the doors though right now on this MX-5. Trying to stay as tucked in as we can. I mean, I'll take that as a chase. So we managed to somewhat come up with a decent chase. Like I said, we're probably gonna try this one more time. We will try it one more time. Hopefully we can get a solid lead if he lets us. Not sure if he's gonna, he will. So one more time here, then we're gonna switch up tracks. So definitely wanted to bring Torque Drift back for you guys. You guys have been asking for it. So Torque Drift is back. And like I said, we will be bringing more. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. If you guys asked for it, we're here today. Just throwing some tandems, trying to get the feels back here for Torque Drift on the mobile device. We are using my Galaxy S10 Plus. It's a much more solid lead. Uh, we kind of biffed it at the end, but we managed to keep our clean lead somewhat clean. It's 150 and he ran out of time. He wrecked it. So we're going to give him one more shot and then we're going to switch tracks. Last run here at Cali Banks. And we're going to go see what other tracks we can run. So if there's something specific you want to see here on Torque Drift, let me know down in the comment section down below like a car build, a tunes, um, maybe a build breakdown on some of my cars that you haven't seen yet. Or maybe some updated settings and stuff of those nature. It's a much better lead now. Taking out those cones. And we are definitely going to finish that with a very, very solid lead. We're getting the flow back here on Torque Drift. 180 definitely feeling the flow again 180 to 164 
So we do have a bit of an advantage going into the chase, and he's not even going to want to go. He's going to take a forfeit. So we're going to change up tracks, and he's not going to want to go again. Unfortunately, he saw the 180 and said, nope, I'm out. So let's see what other tracks we can do real quick before we end this episode off. We got Big M, and we have Tunnel Edge, and we have Mad Mike Test Drive on full track. So we're going to go to Tunnel's Edge. Because I do love the Tunnel Edge track. We're going to bring out the S15. And hopefully we can nail some solid some solid runs here on Tunnel Edge. To end this episode off, we're almost on the tires. So, I don't believe that's actually a Torque Dev. It's, I don't believe it is. It very well could be, though. Because he would have a special game tag on there. So we're just going to initiate in a little bit sooner than I wanted to. Try and make sure we get all those clips. Wow, the frame rate lag. I'm not sure why I'm getting some uh, lag recently. Oh, and that was a big over rotation. This is a bit of a very sloppy run. Kind of got thrown offline by a little bit of a frame rate lag. And it could be due to the fact of my phone battery might be a little bit low. But we managed to finish the run somewhat decent. It was a very sloppy lead. So it looks like we are 108 to 56. So I'm going to go with that's not a dev. Because I feel like the devs would definitely have a much more solid lead. We see it a lot sooner than him. Put a handbrake in. Uh, kind of all over the track. Smacking into the wall. Just trying to get as much tandem points as we can, but unfortunately, the line is kind of very, uh, very wonky and sideways. We're managing to somewhat stay behind him. Get as many points as we can. We'll finish that off with a very nice little tandem slide. And he didn't even chase us because he said no. So we're going to do that one more time here in the S15. So like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing Torch Trip, or if you guys have ideas on what you want to see on Torch Trip, let me know down in the comment section down below. If you're not subscribed, do tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate all the support. And we're going to try that again. So, like I said, I will be going on vacation in a week, but I will be still bringing the content for you guys. So don't worry about that. I have stuff planned to get videos for you guys for daily uploads and stuff while I am away in Florida enjoying uh, a little, uh, little much-needed vacation from work and everything. So it will be a good time to be away. Try and initiate in. It's a bit unorthodox runs for me from what I'm used to. But like I said, I haven't played this in a good minute, and it just goes to show in order to stay consistent, you kind of got to stay consistent in playing. I still can shred and throw some decent lines, but my lines are not by far perfect at all, and my scores are a lot higher before. So, 80-some thousand to 119. I don't think we'll be able to take the win on this, but we're going to give it a shot. That 8-6. Black and red. I'm going to try and just throw it in. I'm going to get as much tandem points as we can. I misjudged his transition there. A very, very shallow, very shallow line that I was not prepared for. And massive clutch kick angle from that Corolla. Just gotta try and stay tight. Stay nice and tidy. And not as tidy as I'd like to be, but we managed to somewhat stay there. Don't think it's gonna be enough to take the win, so we may do one more run with him if he lets us try and get a solid lead. And like I said, it was not enough. 
So we're gonna try to go one more time. If he lets us, if not, we are. So we gotta try and get a perfect lead here to end this episode off. So we can end on a high note. Initiate in. Much better of initiation. Right on the wall, gonna kick this out, gonna run this nice and tight up on the wall. Manage that frame glitch a little bit. Tandem on the wall, long handbrake grab to catch that. Link that in a straight without having a manji. Bring it out as close as we can to the wall. Hard flick back, and this is gonna be a much more solid of a lead. That's the leads I'm looking for. Still not the highest I've ever done, but a 181 will do because he got a 225. So, I got bested on that. So I will definitely chase this lead down to end this episode off. So as always, I thank you guys for watching and coming back. I appreciate all the support. And as always, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys on the track. Oh, too soon. Too soon.